Good evening, hyperspinners. Today, we're going to be talking about creating genres for your system, so get ready. Alright guys, today we're going to be talking about how to create genre wheels. So all you've got to do is uh, go to one of the systems that you want a genre and you're going to be clicking the genre key on your keyboard. Uh, you can set this up in HyperHQ which I'll be showing you how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and push my genre button and you can see I've got a number of genres for my main wheel. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, you can create backgrounds as well as uh, wheel art for your genres. And I'll show you how to add those to your system. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and enter one of these. I'm gonna say, I don't know, uh, we'll say action here. I'm gonna enter that. And if you've been following along with the tutorials, you'll see the special art A1 in the top right. You've got action, the icon, and yeah, so that's uh, all of the genres uh, that I've got for the main wheel. We're looking at the action wheel here, so let's go ahead and uh, look at how to set this up. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of here. And then we're going to show you how to do this. So it's pretty simple, guys. So we're going to be using a tool called Don's uh, Hyperspin Tools. I don't know if you can actually find this anymore online. You might be able to find it on the Hyperspin website under the download section, but I'm going to include it in the Emmy Movies FTP site under uh, the official Ninja to be seen Dojo Hyperspin uh, Zip Tools Don's Hyperspin Tools. Now there's a couple files in here that are going to be helpful for you. The others uh, I literally never used. Um, the ones that you'll likely use are the splitter as well as the ROM renamer. The ROM renamer uh, essentially allows you to rename your games based on the XML that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the renamer and all you're going to do is just find your XML. So go to your database folder in Hyperspin, select you know, name uh, for example, the name XML, and then you're going to find the source of your games and then where you want those games to be renamed. Uh, usually I would just select the same folder. And once you've done that, there's a couple options here that you can check. Uh, I just always left them as is, and you've got a, a host of things to read, but uh, it's nothing really too important to uh, read over. You'll just hit scan at the bottom here, and it will scan for your library. And once you've done that, you'll just hit rename. There'll be a button to uh, do so. And that's it for the renaming tool. For the splitter, this is going to be how you actually create your genres. What you're going to do is open up splitters. You're going to select the XML that you're wanting to uh, create a uh, genre for. So right now it looks like I'm under Williams Classics. Uh, what I would do is I would just click Williams Classics and then I would select the output folder of where I want those genres to go. It's going to be the same folder, so the database folder. Williams Classics and then it will spit out all of the genres for that main XML, that Williams Classics XML. Uh, that's if I select genres. I can also do this by manufacturer, rating, or year, uh, but for the most part I always use genre. So you just click generate XML file and you'll see magically the database folder has now been populated with your uh, your genres. So I'm going to go ahead and go down, what did we say this was, Williams Classics, and these are all the genres for that uh, that Williams Classics XML. So if I open that main XML up, what it's doing is it's just looking for this genre, uh, shooting, flying here, and it's just dumping that into an XML uh, for each one of those. So that's what these are all about. So the shooter field, if I open that up, you're going to see all the games that are associated to that specific XML. And that is it. So 
the only other thing I want to mention is this genre XML file. If you open that, that is going to be the list of all of the XML or all of the genres that display in that wheel that we were just looking at in hyperspin when you when I push seven. Uh, this is going to be how you are selecting your backgrounds as well as your genre wheels. Uh, you will essentially name those files what you see here. So it's going to be important everything's named exactly the same, just like what you guys are used to. And that is your genres. So what I'm going to do is go to just a random system and we're going to look at the genre art. So here we go. We're going to say Atari 7800. If you go to images and then you go to genres. So we've got two options here, the backgrounds. And you can see here the names are exactly the way the XML uh, spits those genres out. So what I typically did uh, from the get-go is I worked on name first because it's got the largest genre list. And then I essentially renamed the artwork based on uh, that naming convention. And then what I did is I just use those same images and the same name. So you can see right here I've got quiz and quiz games. So uh, I, I basically use this throughout all of my systems and you know I, I probably could create a symbolic link uh, to kind of save a little space here but it's not going to be a terrible amount but um, the past is past there so um, you know get a good working set on name um, and you know I, I might drop in the genre uh, backgrounds folder for name so you can uh, play with it and use it for your other systems but that will be a good base to kind of get things going uh, for the other systems. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and back out of that. You're going to just make sure that the names are consistent with your uh, genre wheel. And then I'm going to go wheel here. This is going to be the list of all of your uh, genre wheel art that you have. I'll do the same thing here. I'll drop this in the main folder and uh, you can use that as a base for your other systems. And yeah, that, that's it. This is going to be what displays in your uh, genre wheel. So last thing I want to mention is uh, if you've been following the tutorials here, uh, there's also something that I really like here and that is Hyper Mint. And what this is, is it allows you to edit your database. It also allows you to audit your system to make sure that you have all the media filled out, uh, videos, themes, wheels, name it and uh, go ahead and definitely check that video out uh, to kind of give you a better explanation of things. Um, I'm actually loading name here, which might have been a mistake here. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, it's a big database, as you know. So what I was going to say is, uh, what I also like to do with the uh, genres is I always have a favorites uh, XML. So we all know that Hyperspin supports favorites as well as uh, genres but what I wanted to do is allow like the favorites to be my like real-time favorites uh, the ones that I would play all the time but the favorites genre are sort of like the best in class for that system so uh, that's just another option for you but all you would do to create a sort of favorites XML or best in class XML for that system I'm just going to go ahead and click the database edit on and then you see off to the left here I requested uh, Horsey is the guy's name uh, he's the guy that uh, developed this application the favorites uh, checkboxes essentially what you'll want to do is check all the games that you feel are best in class and then once you've done that you're gonna select fave to XML and uh, you'll check the add to genre so click add to genre press fave to XML and once you've done that you're gonna find that in your database folder you're gonna have uh, let's see you're gonna have a favorites XML and you'll have to do one thing to this uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the name here you're gonna see the favorites uh, XML is here and this has a uh, a lot of games in here and what you'll want to do is just make sure that your genre XML 
uh, file has your favorite XML uh, on here. So just kind of keep a note, uh, note if you are adding a favorites XML or best in class XML from HyperMint, you'll have to open up genre XML and then you'll just type in game name equals favorites or whatever name you want to call that. Uh, and you'll put that at the top of your genre XML. You can see I've got enabled one uh, or zero. Enabled one just means show. Uh, you don't actually have to have that bit there, but uh, that's that there. And uh, that is creating genres, guys. And I hope that helps you guys. And I will include the media as a base in the main folder. Uh, so enjoy. We'll catch you next time.